hello hello everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel please subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber thank you and god bless you how are you all doing today so my correct people on palace matana we still carry come this time around yes so yes so yes so so we heard allegedly that kabi is the owner of ife yes so he's no longer happy with the way things are going on in the palace of ile ife kingdom yeah we had allegedly that this came after a brazilian CEO stormed the palace of ilefe uh and was like giving kabi a prophecy concerning what will happen if queen naomi is uh, as not then come back to the palace of ilefe so you know a lot of people have started telling kabi that he should do away with queen naomi that he should re uh, release queen naomi that after all the twins that had been prophesied on day day that toby had given birth to those twins that it means queen naomi is not the right one for KBAC. Hmm. At this point, you understand that uh, the devil is like playing tricks on a fact. Will I say they just want to destroy KBAC? But God forbid they will achieve that. Yes. You know, these people that does not want to be Naomi to come back to the palace, they have this way of trying to manipulate Kabiesi. But thank God that Kabiesi, he's still acting right that part, yes, because he had sworn that nobody, nobody born of anybody, go free, make him live all over Naomi Shilekola. So this year explained so many things to Kabiesi, so many things that made Kabiesi to open his eyes wider, 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 to see that there are so many benefits behind Queen Naomi. There are so many benefits he's going to get once he brings Queen Naomi back to the palace of Ileife. And Kabiesi had summoned courage to one day all of us in the palace for the last time. That instead of the, him to spend the rest of his life with uh, his life with them, he rather, in fact, give up on the throne. That his choice is Olobi Naomi Shilekola and nothing added, nothing removed. So according to KBAC, he will make sure he put in every effort needed for him to put in to make sure that Queen Naomi comes back to the palace of Ileife Kingdom. So he was like, that they should stop sending people to come and confuse him or to come and tell him certain things that he's, he's even sure of and they will come and, in fact, they will be like, let them confuse him or so. So KBAC was like, if he had listened to the seer that talked to him during the time he was about to get married to them because we had allegedly that a seer told him then not to get married to these women that he should wait until Queen Naomi that he should wait that let him wait until uh, Queen Naomi comes back but Kabiesi did not listen he went in fact he just rushed into that marriage and got married to them in uh, as in six of them uh, got married to them in under one month so in his mind then he was like eh, let me show Queen Naomi that there are thousands of women that are willing to spend their uh, the rest of their lives with me so that was the intentions but now whenever he sit down to think back he will just remember those words from the seer and he will be like if he had known he would have waited for queen naomi so as it take B for Kabiesi now, if there is any way they are going to turn the hands of Claw, Kabiesi will really appreciate that. Yes, he will really, really appreciate that because Kabiesi is not happy. They told him that once he get married to more wives, that he's going to be a fulfilled man. But that fulfillment, Kabiesi didn't get it from this sixth wife. Kabiesi has revealed that it's only Queen Naomi that has the key to his heart. It's only Queen Naomi that, that gives him joy. Queen Naomi understands him so well. But these always are just there to always give him kasala water, water, everything that is in fact that is water, waters. So my correct, correct people, KBS had made the announcement to their hearing that no matter anyhow way it take be, if they like made them born triplets to give him, that children are gifts from God, that he's never going to reject any child that is born unto him, that he's going to accept all of them. But it will not change the fact that Queen Naomi is the real woman. Queen Naomi is the real queen. And he's going to spend the rest of his life with Olobi Naomi, regardless of anything that anybody is coming to say or something so he was like after all the, he had other kids outside that he's not even with their mo mothers so an olori can as well give birth to a child and still leave the palace that is not a do or die affair that he can no longer condone, condone their excesses in the palace and he can no longer uh, uh, pretend to be happy just to please the olobis that at this point he's going to take the bull by the horn he's going to do whatever it takes for him to bring queen naomi and prince tadenikawo back to the palace 
She be people who have seen now all of it to be gave back to her twins and she's fighting everything to make sure that her kids grow grows up as in grow up in the palace of Ilefe. Yes, she wants her kids to be with Kabi Esi. She wants to be with them even in the palace and she doesn't even want to leave the palace of Ilefe. Now, she's the same person that has been advising Kabi Esi to let Queen Naomi go. That the Kabi Esi should bring Queen Naomi, uh, bring Prince Tade and let Queen Naomi go. At times they will be like, Kabi Esi should release Queen Naomi, let her go. But she, she wants her own babies to be uh, trained, brought up into the palace of Ilefe. So Kabi Esi, I like the way that Kabi Esi made this announcement to them. Let them know that they are not in any competition with Olovi Naomi. Because they are not doing it as if they are. Like Olovi Tobi that just gave birth to twins. For her, yes, to her it's just like competition. Oh, Queen Naomi gave birth to one baby. Oh, I've given birth to two babies. So for her it's more like a competition to her. But this announcement from Kabi Esi will even make her eyes wide. So she will even realize that she will even realize that it's not about fighting uh, Kabi Esi. It's not about fighting to get Kabi Esi this thing. That Kabi Esi's heart belongs uh, to Olobi Naomi and to Olobi Naomi alone. Yes. So my correct correct people is an eye opener to them. Or let them know it and no peace that uh, Kabi Esi is not joking with anybody. Kabi Esi is not in for any shout play. Yes, that was the reason why he made the announcement. For anybody that is still going to any Babala war or something, for them to just relax and forget about it. Let them know that Kabi Esi is serious about bringing Queen Naomi back to the palace of Ileife. And he will not rest until he does that. He will not rest until he sees Queen Naomi back into the palace of Ileife. Yes. So, Toby and anybody that is confusing her, telling her that, oh, because she gave birth to uh, twins inside the palace, that Kabi Esi is going to abandon Queen Naomi and uh, stick with her. <laughs> Omo, let her know it and know peace that uh, it doesn't work like that. Yes, it doesn't work that way. Let her just know that. Let her have that in mind that it doesn't work that way. So, my correct, correct people, oh, now so, now so we hear, like, we, we, we heard the story, so. Now, so we heard the stories. Kabi Esi now, the Brazilian seer that stormed the palace, opened his eyes to so many things. Opened his eyes to so many things that he thought that, oh, it's just a mere, mere matter or something. But this uh, uh, Brazilian seer told him as a fact, he did not even hide anything for Kabi Esi. He didn't hide any single thing for Kabi Esi. And that made Kabi Esi, in fact, he really opened Kabi Esi's eyes up. He really opened Kabi Esi's eyes. And Kabi Esi was like, Now, nah, like this, now nah, you go take day into river and soap could just enter in eye. So, my correct, correct people, that's it. Oh, thank goodness that Kabi Esi had reassured us that he's not forgetting his, uh, his promises to Olobi Naomi. He's not changing it for anything. He's not trading uh, Queen Naomi's happiness for anything. No, he's not doing it. He's not doing it. He's still very much interested in bringing Queen Naomi back to the palace of Ileife Kingdom. So my correct, correct people, that's just it. I saw this alleged information on the internet. I decided to bring it to you. Do well to like, share, subscribe. I'll see you soon in my next upload. Remember, all these are alleged informations we gather on the internet space. I'm not living in the palace of Ileife Kingdom. So bear that in mind. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.